times. Yeah, just like you said. It did hurt. It just made me... I, since I thought I was a friend of Oz, I guess I owed it to you to tell you. You're the best friend ever. Yeah, it just made me so mad to tell you would lie to you, cheat on you, and take you for granted. How could I have been so stupid not to see it myself? That's all it does to you. It gets in the way of things. But it's like you said. I wasn't really in love with Scott. I was just in love with the idea of being in love. Exactly. Even though you knew we were in a bad relationship, you would rather than no relationship at all. I was. You don't need him anymore. No, I don't. And that's exactly what I told him. Scott, I don't need you anymore. And you took it hard, huh? Real hard. For a minute, I almost changed my mind and took him back. But I remembered what you told me. That gave me strength. If you weren't boldest, you might have been stuck with me for the rest of your life. Scott is a jerk, and thank God you were there to point that out to me. He's a, he's just a pretty face. He's all look, no content. Nice building, no inventory. Good acting, bad script. A limousine with a four-cylinder engine. So, it's over between the two. Completely. It was a big scene. He cried, I cried. Everybody saw it. Good. That makes it final. Very final. Maybe not. Here he comes now. Oh no! Be strong. Don't give in. What time is it now? Two minutes later than the last time you asked me. Yeah. I've never been in the time. You already told me that. But you didn't tell me why you're here. Is it important? <laughs> Doing time. Let's hear the crime. I pulled the fire alarm. Was, uh... That was you? That was me. <laughs> a guy like you. I bet you thought there was really a fire. No, I knew there wasn't. Hmm. Well, well. Little Leon Mosher has a bad side to him. So, why did you do it? Mad at teacher? Stressed out by the system? Well... This ain't a multiple choice test, no sure. If it wasn't for those reasons, then why'd you do it? <coughs> Probably, but give it a shot. I did it so I could get a chance to be with you. You're not laughing. You're right. Look, I've always wanted to talk to you away from the crowd of pain. Ever since we were kids, but you're never alone. So, I have a lot of friends. You got a problem with that? I know you're different when you're away from the others. You pretend to be so tough and everything, but I know you're not like that. Is that so? I may seem like a real dwarf to you, but one thing I pride myself on is I know people. I can see through the fake sincerity of Sue Powell, our homecoming queen, and I can see the beautiful person beneath your tough talk and ever-present scalp. I mean that's a compliment. Let me get this straight. You got yourself into two weeks of detention just to be with me? Yeah. I wanted to ask you out on a date. Nothing major, just the coke. Maybe after detention today. A date? Just you and me? That's what I was hoping for. All right, Leon. But just one coke. And only because you pulled the fire alarm. And I like stuff like that. With all your friends? Like I want them to know. You got a point there. Time's it now. Don't push your luck, Leon.
going. You have diabetes. Lots of people have it. My aunt has it. Your aunt was one of this type of things. I think the best thing for you to do is get some food with me and catch up on all the gossip. I really don't want to be around one of you. What about all your friends? What about Todd? You can't avoid him for that long. The school isn't that big. You think you are? You talk to him? Third period. You didn't say anything. If you said anything, I told you I wouldn't. Gosh, my word is good. I don't have much else. That at least is still worth something. So, what do you say? He thinks you don't like him anymore. You be so mature sometimes. Insecure? You've been out of school for two weeks. Don't return his calls. And when you come back, you're like the invisible woman or something. I, I just don't feel like telling you. What's the tell? So you have to take a couple shots with great big needles. Easy, easy. I'm just kidding. I'm trying to lay things up. You act like this is just some sort of cold. I have dad eating, okay? Sorry for making the big deals. Look, Todd really cares about you. He's hurting right now. So, you think if I tell him I have a major disease, that will be every call in there? Something like that? It will just go on me and work in the girl for me. Nothing's ever happened. Why not? I broke up. I was a mess, feeling sick and 
inside is I don't want to puke. Yeah. It's awful. It'll pass. You've been going out for two years. Two years is too long anyhow. I've never been so depressed. Ever. I feel like crying all the time. So go ahead and cry. Crying's no sin, you know. What happened to you guys anyhow? That stupid new girl from Canada. Darla King. That jerk, that stupid little jerk. I bet she puts on that front jacket. I bet. You're cuter than her <coughs> any time. Ever see her legs? Bigger at the bottom than the top? They look like they're on upside down. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid jerk. She started out dating Courtney Roger's best friend. And then they break up. And so, Roger keeps making excuses on why he can't see me, like being with me is messing up with his grade. So all of a sudden, he just stops talking to me. Even when I call him, it's like talking to a dead phone. They did that same thing. Got real and different. Then Courtney tips me off that, that he's cheating on me with who else? Darla came. Dave was messing around too. I caught him and went to his house and he wanted to you and I saw him with some other girl. It's like I've got this heartache all over. Well, it's better to ache now than go on being lied to. I guess so. You don't need people dumping on you. Not really. You'll get over it. I need someone better, like I did Ernie. Ernie's ten times neater than Dave. No one's better than Roger. Even that new guy from California? No. You're kidding. He's a dream. Well, he's okay. If he likes his height. And guess what? Don't look now, but here he comes. Oh, God. Okay. Here. Now just relax. Smile. And forget about Roger. Roger who? Dave to think of a nice way to break the news to you. You're pretty confident. Of course. I'm the best woman for the job. Woman? You know what I mean. But leave it to you to try to twist everything I say, just like you did throughout the whole campaign. I may have twisted, but I never lied, like you did. Then one thing I lied about. Matching funds for school field trips, longer lunch periods, your scholastic record. I said be one thing. So you admit to those lies. They were lies. They were campaign promises. The President of the United States, Construction Truth, why not President of the Senior Class? They haven't elected you yet. Oh, but they will. Listen, I know the campaign got a little rough. A little rough? You spray painted my car. You spread rumors that I was having an affair with the superintendent. You do spend a lot of time in his office. My mother is his secretary. Hey, that's politics. You're nothing but a slime ball. You run a very dirty campaign. And you're starting to sound like a sore loser. Does that mean that you're conceding? Never! Well, it sure is sounding that way. You know, you have to admit, I am exactly what the senior class needs. A loud mouth, self-important person? Name one politician who isn't. <laughs>
like I said before, just because I play the politician doesn't mean that I'm like that for real. I, you know how it is with this guy, man. No. <coughs> okay. Um, but you know, so. You pretend to be so innocent, so honest. What does this for you? What do you mean? Nobody votes for government, even in high school, without wanting something in return. Is it power? Is it greed? Or is it knowing that everyone will kiss your butt for favors? You have an evil mind. Maybe, but at least I'm willing to admit my lust for power. Unlike you, I actually want to make some positive changes in this school. I don't believe you, and that's what bothers you most about 